Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Sino Macrops in Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> Wildcard has given us a new DLC map called the Lost Island, and with it comes the Sino Macrops, one of the three new creatures that is available with this new DLC. And I've got to say, uh, it's pretty cute. It's a pretty cute little monkey bird we've got here. Now, before we show you what this little bad boy can do, I'm going to show you where you can find it and how you tame it. First, where to find it. I'm going to use the Creature Finder Deluxe, which is one of my favorite little add-ons, and so all I'll do is I'll just click on Cytomacrops, and then I'll just search for them. And you can see that the Cytomacrops primarily is found in the northern parts near the coast. There's a large amount of them in the center of the map and a small amount of them in the southeast corner. In order to tame a Sinomacrops, first thing you have to do is get it to get close to you, which is pretty easy. They're remarkably friendly, and they will have this little heart emote happening when they get close and they want to be fed. And what do you feed to a Sinomacrops? Chitin, for whatever reason, and uh, all you do is you put it in your 10th slot and you feed it when they land. And off they'll fly until they're needed to be fed again, and I would highly recommend using a Tame Tracker to keep track of these guys because they do fly quite a distance away. And if you're trying to tame them at the coast, that can be a problem since they can very often fly out to sea. But eventually, if you uh, feed it enough, you will get yourself your very own Sino Macrops. One important thing to note is do not wear chitin armor when you're trying to tame a Sinomacrops. For whatever reason, they hate that. They just absolutely cannot stand that you would dare to wear their food. So what you have to do is, if you are being attacked by a Sinomacrops, simply take off any chitin armor you have, and they'll immediately love you, and then you can just start the tame all over again. They're weird little fellas, I'll tell you that. The Sinomacrops also feeds on chitin when it is tamed, so simply put some chitin in its inventory and you've got yourself a fed little monkey bird. Now, to use a Sinomacrops, simply put it onto your back by pressing E when you're looking at it, and uh, now you've just got this cute little yawning little buddy that's sort of talking into your ear. But what it's really good for is the fact that it does have wings and it acts as sort of like a little organic jetpack. So if you hold spacebar, it'll start flapping its wings and you'll go in for a soft landing. But it isn't just a slows your descent. It will actually lift you off the ground. So if you hold spacebar, you can fly for quite a decent distance. And you can see the little stamina bar on the center of the right side of the screen. And you can see that, uh, yeah, you can fly for quite a while with little Sino Macrops. And you have quite a good deal of control as well. You can pretty much land exactly where you want to. The Sino Macrops also has an alternate flight mode. So let's say you're on the top of a cliff and you jump off. Well, you can press C and you will enter glide mode. Now the glide mode is similar to how the glide suit or griffins fly. So if you aim down, you will enter sort of a dive bomb. And if you point out horizontally, you'll fly for a great distance. Now this does still use stamina, but uh, it is remarkably effective. You can cover quite a bit of distance. And as opposed to those other modes of transportation, you can swap in between the modes. So if I want to go back into the active flight mode, I just press C again, and my wings will start flapping, and I can land exactly where I want to. The Sino Macrops also has an interesting ability to scream. Nice. So all you have to do is assign an emote to it, and the emote is called clap. So if you hotkey the clap emote, you will cause the Sino Macrops to scream, which will cause small dinosaurs around you to run away in abject terror. You can see that there's a cooldown on it. You can see the cooldown is located on the middle right of the screen. It's not too, too long, but then again, the effect doesn't last for too long. But I mean... Honestly, you're on a Sino Macrops, so you could just usually fly away from most things. What makes this really, really useful is that the Sino Macrops can scream things like the Pegomastix and Ichthyornises away. Ichthyornises? Ichthyorni? Ah, whatever. Now, you can, if you wish to, go into its context wheel and tell it to auto-scream, which is a horrible, horrible concept. But yeah, you can have it auto-scream, so when something aggros to you, it'll just automatically scream it away, uh, which is definitely very, very useful. Useful. Do you have any more tips about the Sino Macrops? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.